All right, we know what happened on Sunday night. Mets manager Buck Showalter here in the wild card game accused Joe Musgrove of cheating, using something on his ear, putting it on his ear as an illegal substance, and improving his spin rate, blah, 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 blah. The umpires checked him. It was clear he wasn't cheating. Mets fans still decided to chant cheater at him. Joe Musgrove didn't care. He was just that good. He ends up going seven shutout innings, gives up one hit. There's that great strikeout to Nito. But Brian Kenny, next day on MLB Network, still thinks that Joe Musgrove was cheating. In your opinion, you believe that just Joe Musgrove cheated last night in Game 3? The evidence yes, no. that I'm looking at indicates that he made a huge leap in spin rate. Don't give me the indicate. Yeah. Yes or no? Well, uh, Did he cheat? Dog, dog. I didn't change with him I'm yesterday. You I didn't one. change with him. Yes no. If you're saying what's the greater leap of faith, the greater leap of faith is to believe he wasn't using any stuff. And when he was asked after the game last night, they said, right. "Hey, what you know? What did they find on you?" He goes, "Oh, uh, you know, what's on your ears? Oh, I don't know. They didn't find anything. How about there's nothing on my ears?" So, in other words, you think Joe Musgrove cheated? Yeah. So, Brian Kenny, MLB Network analyst, is accusing Joe Musgrove of cheating despite having zero evidence of him doing so. The umpires checked him, and they said that he had nothing. But he's still accusing Joe Musgrove of cheating and trying to ruin his spectacular performance in the biggest game of his life. So the umpires checked, but these guys are just not equipped to do a sophisticated crime scene investigation on the field. Wait a minute, he just called this a crime scene investigation? It's a baseball game. I think umpires can handle it. The umps did an inspection on Musgrove, even going to his ears, which appeared quite shiny. That was noticed by many observers before the check. But, uh, you know, they don't have a lab kit out there. What is the ump looking for? Does he know what a foreign substance feels like? Can he tell sweat from bullfrog? Yes, Brian. Umpires know what sweat and bullfrog looks like. They've been doing this the whole season. The league, when it looked to assess the use of foreign substances, used spin rate, the revolutions of the baseball. Using a sticky substance, a pitcher can greatly increase the revolutions of the baseball and thereby make it much more difficult to hit. And that is what was happening last night. Joe Musgrove's spin rate, take a look at this. The slider up 248 RPMs. That's not a normal jump. That's a huge jump. You know who else had a huge jump, Brian? David Peterson's spin rate of the Mets, the same game. But you didn't bring him up. Now, is it possible he changed his motion to get this type of action on his pitches? Yeah. It, did he just feel great in a big game? Yeah. Yeah, I think he did just feel great in a big game. Joe Musgrove pitches well in big games. He is an all-star this year, you know? <sighs> so here's the real problem. Let's say the umpires did think Musgrove was up to no good. What would they do? They can eject him. The league could suspend him. But what good does that do for the Mets when six shutout innings are in the bank? This game was a winner-take-all. The damage was already done. Well, that's actually Buck Showalter's fault. He shouldn't have checked in the sixth inning. He was checking the balls Joe Musgrove was throwing in the first inning. Maybe he should have checked earlier. That's his fault. Notice I'm not saying what Mad Dog said I was saying. <laughs> so, in other words, you think Joe Musgrove cheated? Yeah. No, no, no. Wait, Brian. But you are saying what you told Mad Dog. Mad Dog asked you, do you think Joe Musgrove cheated? And you said, yeah. And now you're trying to say, oh, no, but I'm not saying he's cheating. I'm just giving you all of these numbers and all of these stats to make it look like he was cheating. Which one is it? Can't have it both ways. Joe Musgrove pitched the biggest game of his life, and you're trying to discredit him. That's what's happening here. You think that he cheated despite there being zero evidence of him cheating. The umpires checked him, and he wasn't cheating. They found out that he didn't have anything on him. You're bringing up these spin rate numbers when other Mets pitchers had their spin rates increase as well. But you're not bringing them up. You can't have it both ways. You're being unfair to Joe Musgrove. And I believe, on behalf of San Diego Padres fans, you owe him and the San Diego Padres organization uh, an apology.